By now, most of y'all have seen this photo circulated around social media. We've got this bald loser parading around his young child, carrying signs that say, them hoes free Watson. This is in reference to Cleveland quarterback Deshaun Watson's recent suspension amid a multitude of sexual assault allegations. So this is making light of sexual assault victims and this is called child neglect. He tried to get rid of his social media when this picture went viral. An update on this older gentleman who had signs that read F them hoes and had a child hold up free Watson. But the internet is forever, Scott Weaver. So let me tell you how your life got that pathetic. You got a little notoriety doing MMA a decade ago. After that died down, you adopted this loud, obnoxious personality as a way to deflect from the fact that you have nothing good going for you. Scott, if you wanted to be funny, you didn't have to mock sexual victims. You could just play people your hip-hop single from 2019. Unfortunately, we cannot play the single due to copyright. However, I do highly recommend checking out the music video because this is a sample of what you are missing out on. Weaver would, of course, privatize his account, but some folks captured another photo of Weaver with the same jersey and same patch. In addition to his Instagram going private, he nuked his Twitter account after posting this photo. Some on the internet are having fun with Weaver, a mock account photoshopped the sign to read, I heart glizzy straws, which is, of course, a reference to a Yankees fan using a hot dog as a straw for a beer. On the same day Weaver held up his essay sign, Browns fan Ariana took this photo in the stadium with the caption, this guy came and told these Eagles fans to turn their shirts inside out for wearing Cosby on their shirts, which read, quote, no more happy endings. They were reluctant but this guy was not having it. Here is a picture of the fans with those tees. On the back read 11 games and on the front, as you can see, is a photoshopped image of Cosby in a Watson number no. four Cleveland Browns jersey. Outside the stadium, this entrepreneur printed shirts that read, B word, give me a massage. Now, when Watson was on the road away from home, Jacksonville Jaguars fans let him hear it. Fans will always do what fans will do. And fans will pounce on anything they can use to rattle or unsettle the players on the other team. With Watson, the fruit is as ripe and low-hanging as it can be, wrote PFT's Mike Florio. Starting left guard Joel Bitonio told the media, you know, I think once Deshaun came out of the game, we got booed less. But you go to a road game, they boo you anyway. So you know what I mean? So we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it seems like more than ever, Cleveland against the world. So we'll be ready for it. He would then clarify his comments further to local media. I mean, I, I noticed, and, and what I said was, you know, we're going to go to the stadiums and we're going to get booed by people no matter who's playing quarterback for us. And as a team, we come out and say, you know, Cleveland against the world. And if people want to take that in the wrong context or talk about it in the wrong context, you know, that's their opinion. But I know we have good people on this team that, that are, are, are working hard and trying to do the best for the Cleveland Browns. And that's why I'm at as a, as a player who's been here for nine years. And if someone wants to think that I don't, you know, love and, and appreciate things in my, in my life, you know, that, that's their opinion. But I know where I'm at and, um, you know, where I'm at with Cleveland and the people on this team. However, Karan J. Phillips of Deadspin, would lay blame at the hands of ownership. If Watson weren't good at football, Haslam wouldn't have signed him to the largest guaranteed deal in NFL history, which is $230 million guaranteed. He doesn't care about Watson's soul. He cares about his investment. And that's not an opinion. It's a fact. And you could say, well, that's because he's a star quarterback. Well, of course, said Haslam, about what's the real reason why the franchise is standing behind him. Beyond being a reminder that the Browns are a franchise that will always welcome talented players who have done bad things to women, Haslam gave every man and woman that doesn't believe women or always assumes that they're lying about unwanted sexual acts or advances that have been made against them the green light to act like this is a conversation about redemption, 
when it's solely about revenue. Great point. Over the next few months, it will be interesting to see how fans of all ages respond to Deshaun Watson. Will he get booed on the road and be supported at home? Or in a few months, will people have moved on to focus solely on football? But what we do know is that those kids who are holding up signs and getting autographs from Watson were there because of their parents. And when you realize that those kids will one day become parents, you start to understand how this cycle continues.